Shit. Up with that. Tata, what have you Shit. seen from this defensive end group early on in camp? Looks like y'all are getting after it a good bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we got a lot of good energy in there. Um, you know, we got some young blood in there and uh, good competition. Uh, new coach, you know, he's really inspiring. Just a really good, positive thing to come back to in the meeting room. And he's teaching us a lot about the game. Um, he's been in it for a while, so. What have you seen from Peyton Turner? It seems like, you, you know, being here from day one, just kind of your confidence and what you've seen noticeably different in him. Uh, yeah, definitely more confidence. You know, he's getting more settled in the in the NFL in general. And um, yeah, man, he just goes out there, works, and um, he uh, I think he believes in himself a lot more this year uh, than any other year. So I like seeing that. What are some things that you worked on this off season and where you might want to improve this season? Uh, pass rush, definitely. You know, um, and we got a coach that's definitely coaching us to make plays. You know, so we all like that. Um, Playing within our system, but also being able to make a play when we see it. And is there any specific reason you switched to 92? Uh, was there like, a, <laughs> like a guy you grew up watching from 92 or something? Uh, no, nah, it was uh, like my original number back in KC and throughout college. And honestly, it got uh, picked for me in high school, so um, I just stuck with it. Yeah, 92 is not like. I guess it's like iconic number. Yeah, I mean, Reggie, yeah, Reggie, yeah. No, there's a lot of iconic 92s, you know. I'm trying to make it a little bit of my own, you know. Yeah, yeah. What's your impression of Brian Brzee? Uh Great kid. Uh, first off, a uh, really good kid. And he uh, he's trying to absorb everything from that room, from Cam Jordan, me, um, some of the older guys in his position, Roach. Um, and just uh, some a guy who takes film seriously, you know, uh, really good rookie. How does he take film seriously? <laughs> uh, well, he watches it, he sees, he learns off of other people, not just himself, you know. Um, the coach will be correcting him, but you'll see him asking questions on somebody else being corrected. So you, you like to see that. Uh, what's it like having a former teammate Saunders on the line with you? Uh, it's actually Colin Saunders. Uh, he'll he'll remind you for sure, uh, but nah, he's it's great. His uh, his energy, you know, two rings, you know, he got two rings on him, um, and uh, it's it's fun having him in there. He's definitely somebody who comes to the room with a lot of energy, a lot of uh, just uh, comedic relief. We could say that, and uh, yeah, he's just a great guy. Banky. <laughs> Um, yeah, Sir Banks, Bank, uh, Bank, uh, King Bank, uh, it really came from his high school highlights, you know, uh, the bank is kind of like a, it's a dead leg move when you're playing running back, you know, when you stop, make somebody miss, uh, that's a bank, so he was doing that a lot in high school and it just followed with him, he just takes that in a pass rush and his game. He's doing that as a running back in high school or doing that as? Yeah, he was doing that as a running back in high school, and he's transferred that into his pass rush moves, and, you know, he's, he's kept it. <laughs> Do you have a link to that footage? A link? Hey, he does, bro. Uh, ask him. I'm telling you, he's got a link to his linebacker tapes in KC, like every single play, every running back play in high school. He, he keeps that on him. Uh, if you made the decision to return to the team this offseason, if I have my timeline correct, who was it that, uh, that brought you back? Uh, I mean, I just love it. I love it here in New Orleans. I love the team, obviously. Cam Jordan, great vet. Uh, learning from him. I'm learning from the guys we have in our room. And uh, yeah, I just felt like it was a good environment for me. And I like coming to work every day here. So I'm not going to change that. Does the scheme and, and all that kind of play into you? You feel like it plays into your strengths and everything? Yeah, playing? for sure. You know, they play me outside. They play me at the three tech. Um, they just put me where I can make plays. So I like that. At this time of year, to what extent do um, defensive ends feel it's their responsibility to improve the offensive tackles? Uh, and, and could you speak, if, if at all, could you speak in context of Trevor Penning and the team trying to develop him? Um, um, I mean, I can't speak for him, but I know uh, us in our room, we definitely um, see it as iron time. Iron sharpening iron. We got a lot of good offensive linemen, um, one being Trevor. 
and he's definitely been learning every day. Um, you see him coming out there and you see like great plays out of him, like really, really great plays. And that's usually a bad play for us, but you know, you gotta remember like that's your teammate um, and you like to see that. But I think it's just kind of like an ironing, sharpen ironing thing, or yeah, iron sharpens iron thing. Uh, come out and work every day. What do you mean? Can you give us an example of great plays? Because maybe it's not as easy for us to recognize <laughs> as it is for you, you know, um, experiencing it. Yeah, you know, just coming off the ball, uh, run blocking. His run blocking is pretty, uh, really good. And, um, you know, he's working in other, working on other areas of his game, and you see him developing and getting better at it every day. So you love to see that. We've heard a lot from the secondary guys about things that Derek Carr does that makes stuff complicated for them. Is there anything that he does that complicates things for the defensive line? Um, I mean, the dude is athletic. He's agile. I mean, I remember playing against him in the Raiders. Uh, he's he's just a good quarterback. I mean, I've really been focusing on the tackles <laughs> a lot. Um, so it's like when I get back there, I just see red and, you know, stop. But in my head, I'm oh, hitting him, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the excitement level going in? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, camp got me not even remembering what day it is. But, um, no, nah, I'm really excited. Me and Colin have talked about it. It's just something we've never gotten to do, you know, never play against uh, our own offense and um, be seeing a whole bunch of guys. I know, you know, Travis, all them, uh, definitely be good to catch up and stuff. So I'm excited. Well, how tough has it been just to deal with the temperatures of this camp in particular? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, it's hard, man. I've seen we've seen some guys go down, and um, it's really a full-time job to hydrate. And then once you hydrate, you gotta balance that out with like waking up at 2 a.m. to go use the bathroom and like trying to keep your sleep on. And yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot. It's more than just sweating. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, all you guys grew up with football. Is it, I mean, is it really different now? Uh, the heat. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, I mean, I couldn't even imagine doing two a days. I mean, I didn't grow up here, but still, like, in some of the heat, I was back in PA with some of the hottest days they've had out there. And, um, yeah, some of the two a days, the crazy standards coaches used to have, like, not drinking water was tough. It's like, no, nah, that's just not smart. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's definitely a different heat. What is a top Grantham brought to the room? Uh, number one thing I think is uh, just positive energy. It's like they're reinforcing our guys, telling us how great we are and great we can be. Um, and one thing he really coaches on is uh, us making plays. You know, it's not necessarily always, or you want to always be right, but if you can make the play, make the play. You know, um, where I see like um, I think that's where we're growing uh, and seeing plays and trying to go get them instead of just trying to be right all the time, you know? Yeah. Thanks, Mike. 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 Thanks, Mike.